Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So after I released the teardown video I got a bunch of questions about how the DJI FPV drones flies. So this is what I'm going to do today, tell you my opinion about the DJI FPV drone. I will tell you right from the start that I personally don't like this drone and I don't like it for one reason not because it's a fragile drone not because it's heavy not because I don't like the remote I don't like it because it doesn't fly great I have now many years of flying FPV do-it-yourself drones and I can tell you that the DJI FPV drones flies like a drone from back in 2015 or something like that. It's very underpowered and because of this reason its flying characteristics are very poor. Obviously if we compare it with a Mavic drone this drone is fantastic. I mean all the characteristics are over the top comparing it with a Mavic drone. But if you want to compare it with a do-it-yourself kind of racing freestyle drone this is a baby. I mean it just can't cope with all the craziness you want to throw at it. So this is the main reason I don't like it. It doesn't bring me personally a better experience or better quality of the footage it just doesn't give me anything more than I already have. But if you are thinking about somebody who was used to flying DJI drones like Mavics, Phantoms and so on and they just want something more dynamic than what a Mavic can bring then yeah it's a great drone. But for somebody seasoned in FPV flying building drones um, this is just not there. What are the things I don't like about the package? Well, the goggles, I know them because I use sometimes the V1 goggles. So V2 goggles are basically the same, same image quality and so on. The remote, it's way too small for me. And not particularly the whole size of the remote, but rather the gimbals. The travel is so short that I lose a lot of resolution while flying. Overall the, the way it feels in my hand is pretty weird thinking that I am flying big remotes for years now. Obviously to fly it in manual mode you need to disable the throttle spring and also change the tension of the throttle because this is how you fly in uh, manual FPV mode. I don't like the fact that when you set the video transmission to low latency you are stuck with 1080 recording. So if you want 4K recording you also need to use normal mode transmission which has a higher latency than uh, low latency obviously. The idle throttle on an FPV drone the propellers spin slowly. On this one they have a little bit higher RPM than what you can find on a regular FPV drone and because of that you will not manage to do a perfect dive very close to the building for a very long time. You will end up further from the building. What I like about it is the sheer simplicity of starting to use it and I would get why beginners would uh, be interested in this drone because it's quite easy to start flying you don't need too much knowledge to, to operate it so at least in that regard this drone is fantastic I like the fact that you can change the angle of the camera while flying obviously the quality of the transmitted image you are seeing in the goggles is quite nice I like the fact that in manual mode because it has a one axis gimbal you can control the angle of the camera while flying and I like how the electronic image stabilizer works. The footage you get on the SD card is um, just crazy good in terms of stabilization and because I didn't want this video to get very long 
at the end I will let you see some footage, DVR footage compared to an unstabilized GoPro footage from a normal drone and in the same time a stabilized footage from this one and a stabilized GoPro footage and see for yourself what I am talking about here. Obviously this is a great product and I told that in the teardown and I am telling you now again. This is a very good product but not for someone who has experience flying FPV drones because it just doesn't have the capability to push it further. Guys, I know you are coping with my English skills. I am not a native English speaker. I am not a Russian, I am a Romanian, I know everybody is telling me I am a Russian but I am not. I want to thank you very much for watching this video and please press that subscribe button for more content in the future. And please leave your comments and opinions in the comment section. Thank you again and till the next time, bye!